Hello everyone, welcome to Learning English Pro. This is Jer. Today we're diving deep into the fascinating world of sea creatures, from the smallest clams to the mighty octopus. And if you're looking for a lesson on fish types, I've got you covered. The link for this lesson is in the description. For English learners, there is a complete glossary for all the terms covered in this video in the video description as well. So with all that business out of the way, let's get started on our underwater adventure. Our first animal is clams. Clams are small mollusks with two hinged shells. They come in various sizes and are found in both fresh water and marine environments. There are over 15,000 species of clam and some clam can live for decades and their age can be determined by counting the rings on their shells. Clams are part of a diverse family of creatures known as mollusks. These invertebrate animals are characterized by soft, unsegmented bodies, often protected by shells. Oysters are another type of mollusk. These shellfish have rough, irregular shaped shells. They are commonly found along coastlines worldwide. Each oyster can filter up to 50 gallons of water a day, helping improve water quality in their habitat. Oysters live in salty or brackish coastal waters, clustering on any hard submerged surface. They fuse together as they grow, forming rock-like reefs that provide habitat for other marine animals and plants. Another species of mollusk is mussels. Mussels are found in clusters with dark elongated shells. They are known for their ability to attach themselves to rocks or other surfaces using strong threads called bisel threads. These threads also serve as anchors during rough tides. Shrimp are a small crustacean shellfish with curved bodies and large antennae. Many shrimp species are known for their impressive migratory journeys, traveling long distances between freshwater and saltwater habitats. Lobsters are large crustaceans known for their spiny shells. They are found in the cold waters of the Atlantic Ocean and they're known for their solitary behavior with each lobster defending its own territory. Contrary to popular belief, lobsters are not immortal. Lobsters have an extraordinary lifespan due to an enzyme called telomerase in many of their cells. Lobsters grow by molting, which requires considerable energy, and the larger the shell, the more energy is required. Eventually, the lobster will die from exhaustion during a molt. Both shrimp and lobsters are types of crustaceans. Crustaceans are a diverse group of anthropods, primarily found in aquatic environments. They are recognized by their hard exoskeletons and jointed appendages. Crabs are the tenacious crustaceans of the sea. They are renowned for their powerful claws and impressive adaptations. These creatures wield their claws not only for defense, but also for hunting and manipulating objects. Crabs possess a remarkable ability to crush the shells of their prey with their robust pincers, making them formidable predators in the underwater world. Beyond their claws, crabs have evolved an array of unique features, including intricate exoskeletons and diverse body shapes, reflecting their incredible diversity and resilience in marine ecosystems. A creature who needs to be on guard for hungry crabs is the scallop. Scallops are shellfish with fan-shaped shells and tender white meat. They have a unique way of swimming by rapidly clapping their shells, which creates a jet of water that propels them forward. 
Squid are cephalopods with soft bodies and long tentacle-like appendages. These intelligent creatures are masters of camouflage, capable of changing their skin color and texture to blend in with their surroundings. Cephalophods are characterized by their soft elongated bodies and prominent head. They also have a set of tentacles or arms that typically surround the mouth. Cephalophods are renowned for their high level of intelligence among invertebrates. Another well-known cephalophod is the octopus. These are very intelligent creatures with eight long, flexible arms. They are known for their problem-solving abilities and their exceptional skill in escaping predators by squirting ink and using jet propulsion to swim away. Octopi possess a highly developed nervous system, allowing them to exhibit complex behaviors. Despite their intelligence and agility, octopi are relatively short-lived creatures, with most species having a lifespan of just a few years. Our next sea creature is the crawfish, which can also go by the name of crayfish. These are freshwater crustaceans resembling small lobsters. They often create intricate burrows in the muddy bottoms of ponds and streams, which provide them with shelter from predators. A conch is a marine snail with a spiral-shaped shell often used in Caribbean cuisine. The conch's impressive shell is not only for protection, but also acts as a buoyancy aid, allowing it to float when needed. Our next sea creature is truly fascinating, the sea urchin. Sea urchins are spiny marine animals with round, hard shells. They belong to the Enchinodea family, and they play a vital role in marine ecosystems by grazing on algae and controlling its growth. Sea urchins have a unique method of locomotion, using hundreds of tiny tube feet to move. As I mentioned, sea urchins belong to the Inchinodea family, which is a diverse group of marine animals, characterized by spiny skin or exoskeleton. Inchinoderms include several other fascinating species, and one of their defining features is their unique water vascular system, which helps them with locomotion, feeding, and respiration. An intriguing member of this family is the starfish, also known as a sea star. These captivating marine animals are known for their distinctive five-arm radial symmetry. These creatures are found in oceans around the world, from shallow coastal waters to the deep sea. Despite their name, starfish can have varying number of arms, and they use tube feet on their underside to move and feed. They are remarkable for their ability to regenerate lost limbs and they come in a dazzling array of colours and patterns. While they may look like a mollusk, barnacles are actually small crustaceans related to crabs and lobsters. They attach themselves to rocks and other surfaces and they have a complex life cycle, with their larval stage free swimming before settling down and attaching themselves to a substrate as adults. For our final sea creature, I think I've left the best to last. We've already discussed shrimp, but I'm going to discuss a particular type of shrimp called the mantis shrimp. This is a marine marvel, and it is found in the warm waters of the Indian and Pacific Oceans. It possesses one of the most remarkable and powerful punches in the animal kingdom. With specialized appendages known as smashers, mantis shrimps can strike their prey with astonishing speed and force, delivering blows that can shatter glass aquarium walls and even crack open the shells of crabs and clams. This incredible punch is not only swift, but also incredibly accurate, allowing mantis shrimps to strike their prey with pinpoint precision. Their smashing technique is so potent that it creates a cavitation bubble, 
which generates temperatures comparable to the surface of the sun and it creates shockwaves that can stun or kill their prey instantly. In this fascinating clip, you can see it using the technique to rip the arm off a crab. Truly fascinating. And the mantis shrimp concludes our exciting journey through the world of sea creatures. I hope you enjoyed learning all about them. If you found this video informative and entertaining, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and subscribe to Learning English Pro for more engaging content. If you'd like to learn more about animals, click here for Primate Kingdoms, my new documentary on different types of primates. Click here for my video on 50 different bird names in English and really perfect your pronunciation. Thanks for joining me for this lesson. Have a fantastic day and remember, keep learning English like a pro.